Imagine standing at the edge of a vast ocean, the waves whispering secrets of untold possibilities and untapped potential. This vast expanse is much like life itself, brimming with opportunities yet to be seized, paths yet to be trodden. Now ask yourself, are you merely watching the waves or are you ready to dive into the depths and explore the treasures within? This moment right now is a crossroads, the decision to get serious about your life, to summon an unwavering strength and to commit to becoming a better version of yourself is the first step on a journey of profound transformation. It's about choosing to no longer drift aimlessly on the surface, but to dive deep, to fight against the currents, and to emerge stronger, wiser, and victorious. Why, you might wonder, is getting serious so pivotal? The answer lies in the realization that life and all its complexity is not a rehearsal. Each day is a live performance, a chance to play your best, to contribute your best, and to be your best. Getting serious means shifting from being a passive observer to an active participant in your own. Consider for a moment the things that truly matter to you. Your dreams, your aspirations, your family, your health. How often do they get overshadowed by the mundane, the trivial, the urgent, but not important? It's easy to lose sight of our true priorities in the hustle and bustle of daily life. But here lies the challenge to prioritize, to focus and to invest your time and energy into what truly moves the needle in your life. Now think about strength, not just the physical kind, though that's important, but the strength of character, the resilience of spirit. This strength is forged not in moments of ease and comfort, but through the trials and tribulations that life inevitably throws our way. It's about standing firm when the storm rages, holding on to hope when faced with despair and pushing forward when every fiber of your being wants to give in. And what about getting better? Improvement, growth, progress. These are not just lofty ideals, but the very essence of life. The quest to improve is what propels us forward, what drives innovation and discovery, and what makes our journey meaningful. Whether it's mastering a new skill, enhancing your knowledge, or simply becoming a kinder, more compassionate human being. Getting better is a never-ending journey that enriches not just your own life, but also the lives of those around you. At this juncture, you may wonder, how does one embark on this journey? The path begins with a single step, a decision, a decision to no longer accept mediocrity, to no longer settle for less than you're capable of, and to no longer let your dreams be just that. It's a decision to take control, to hold the pen and write the next chapter of your life with intention, courage, and unwavering determination. As we stand on the brink of this vast ocean of potential, let us make a pledge, a pledge to get serious about our lives, to summon the strength to face our challenges head on, and to commit to a path of continuous improvement. Let this moment be the catalyst for change. The point at which we look back and say, that was the journey ahead is not for the faint of heart. It will demand your best, test your resolve and challenge your limits. But within you lies an inexhaustible well of strength, a boundless capacity for growth and an indomitable spirit that yearns to soar. So I ask you, are you ready to dive in? Are you prepared to embark on this journey of transformation? The choice is yours. Let us step forward with a resolute heart and a clear vision for the path to greatness, though fraught with challenges, is also paved with the promise of a better tomorrow. Building on the momentum of our journey, diving into the depths and embracing the call to action Let's shift our focus inward to the very core of our being. Have you ever paused to consider the profound architecture of your inner world? The strengths, the weaknesses, the untapped potential lying dormant, waiting for the spark of self-improvement to ignite a fire within? Self-improvement, the art of becoming more than we are, starts with a single yet profound understanding 
We are the architects of our own destiny. The foundation of any significant change, any lasting transformation begins not with external factors, but within the quiet, untamed landscapes of our own minds and spirits. Consider for a moment the trees, how they stretch towards the sky, seeking the sunlight, growing, adapting, and becoming stronger with each passing season. Just as the tree is drawn to the light, so too must we reach towards our own light, the light of self-improvement and personal growth. This journey is not about surpassing others, but about transcending our previous selves, shedding the layers of who we were to unveil who we might become. The first step on this path is self-awareness. It's about holding up a mirror to our souls, examining our lives with honesty and courage. What are our strengths and how can we leverage them? What are our weaknesses and how can we transform them into stepping stones towards greatness? This level of introspection requires bravery, for it means confronting aspects of ourselves that we may have hidden away locked in the shadows of comfort and complacency. Self-awareness leads us to the next crucial setting our intentions. Intentions act as the compass of our journey, guiding us through the tumultuous seas of life. Without them, we drift aimlessly at the mercy of the winds of circumstance. But with clear, defined intentions, we chart our course, we set our sails, and we navigate through the storms confident in our direction and purpose. But let us not be mistaken, for intention alone is not enough. It must be coupled with action. Action is the bridge between the world of dreams and the reality of achievement. It's one thing to understand who we are and where we want to go, but it's another to take the steps, to walk the path, to move towards our destiny with determination and resolve. As we embark on this journey of self-improvement, let us also embrace the power of resilience. The road will not always be smooth. There will be obstacles, setbacks, moments of doubt and despair. But it is in these moments that our true strength is forged. Resilience is not just about weathering the storm, but about learning to dance in the rain, to see each challenge as an opportunity for growth an invitation to rise above and emerge stronger, wiser, and more capable than before. And in this process of becoming, let us not forget the importance of adaptability. The world around us is ever-changing, and so too must we be. To improve ourselves is to be fluid, to be open to new experiences, new learnings, and new perspectives. It means being willing to change course when the path we're on no longer serves us to let go of what we are for the sake of what we might become. This journey of self-improvement is both deeply personal and profoundly universal. It connects us to the very essence of what it means to be human. The desire to reach beyond our grasp, to strive for something greater, to leave a mark on the world that says, I was here, I mattered, I made a difference. As we continue on this path, let us carry with us a spirit of curiosity, a heart full of courage, and a mind open to the endless possibilities that lie within us. For it is in the pursuit of becoming our best selves that we discover not only who we are, but who we have the potential to be. In the grand tapestry of life, each thread of self-improvement we weave adds strength, color, and beauty to the whole. It's a journey that never truly ends, for there is always another layer to uncover, another horizon to explore. But it's a journey worth embarking on, a challenge worth accepting, a call to action that resonates deep within the core of our being. As we pivot from the foundation of self-improvement to the concrete steps of commitment, strength building, and continuous betterment, remember us, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And that step taken today can alter the course of your life forever. Let us step forward together with intention and purpose into the next chapter of our journey where commitment becomes the vehicle for our transformation. I'm here to guide you through an essential truth, a truth that has the power to reshape the contours of your life, your dreams, and the very essence of your journey towards excellence. This truth is about the unwavering commitment to your goals. 
It's about getting serious. Let's ponder for a moment. What does it truly mean to commit to your goals? It means to bind yourself to a course of action, to pledge that no matter the obstacles, the distractions or the temptations to veer off path, you remain steadfast. Consider the oak tree, how it starts as a mere acorn, seemingly insignificant, easily overlooked. Yet within it lies the potential for greatness, for becoming a towering figure of strength and stability. Your goals are much like this acorn. They begin as small ideas, dreams, and wishes. But with commitment, they have the potential to grow into something magnificent, something enduring. The journey from an acorn to an oak is not a swift one. It requires time, patience, and above all, a steadfast commitment to growth. Why? Then, do we often find ourselves faltering in our commitment? The answer lies in our perception of the journey. We are creatures of instant gratification, seeking quick results and immediate rewards. But the path to achieving meaningful goals is seldom easy or quick. It is a path fraught with challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt. Yet, it is also a path line with growth, discovery, and unparalleled satisfaction. The key to traversing this path successfully is a serious commitment to your goals. Commitment means making your goals a priority, not an afterthought. It means waking up each day with a clear vision of what you wish to achieve and taking deliberate actions to make that vision a reality. It's about making sacrifices, saying no to distractions that do not serve your ultimate purpose, and yes to opportunities that align with your goals. But how does one cultivate such a commitment? It begins with clarity. You must know precisely what you want to achieve. Vague goals produce vague results. Be specific. Paint a vivid picture of your destination in your mind. Write it down. Make it real. This clarity will serve as your compass, guiding you through the fog of daily distractions and keeping you focused on your path. Next commitment requires a plan. A goal without a plan is merely a wish. Your plan is your map. It outlines the steps you need to take, the milestones you aim to reach, and the obstacles you may encounter. It breaks down the journey into manageable segments, making the goal less daunting and more achievable. Equally important is the belief in your ability to achieve your goals. This belief acts as the fuel that powers your journey. There will be moments of doubt, moments when you question your capabilities, your choices, and even your goals. In these moments, remind yourself of your why. Why? Did you set this goal? Why is it important to you? Your R, why is your anchor? It will keep you grounded and centered even in the stormiest of seas. Furthermore, commitment to your goals is not a solo journey. Surround yourself with a support system, people who believe in you, who encourage you, and who are willing to hold you accountable. Share your goals with them. Let them celebrate your victories and support you through your challenges. This network of support can be a powerful motivator, pushing you to persevere when the going gets tough. Finally, commitment means being adaptable. The path to your goals is rarely a straight line. There will be detours and roadblocks. Be prepared to adjust your course to find new ways around obstacles. Flexibility does not mean you are straying from your goals. It means you are committed enough to find alternative paths to reach them. In closing, let me remind you the commitment to your goals is a testament to your character. It reflects your discipline, your determination, and your resilience. It's about getting serious, not just about the goals themselves, but about the person you are becoming in the pursuit of those goals. Remember the depth of your commitment today determines the height of your achievements tomorrow. As we move forward, let this commitment be your guiding light, illuminating the path from where you stand now to where you aspire to be. Embrace it, nurture it, and let it propel you towards a future where your dreams are not just possibilities, but reality. The journey ahead is yours to take. 
get serious, get committed, and let's embark on this journey together. In the journey of self-improvement, once we have committed to our goals, the next critical step is to build our resilience, both mental and physical. This resilience is our armor in the face of adversity, our steadfast ally in the pursuit of our dreams. But how do we forge this armor? How do we cultivate the strength that not only carries us through challenges, but also transforms us into embodiments of perseverance? Let's start by exploring the essence of mental resilience. Mental resilience is not about the absence of doubt or fear. It's about how we confront and navigate through these inevitable emotions. It's the inner fortitude that allows us to face setbacks with a mindset, not of defeat, but of learning and growth. Consider for a moment the greatest achievements in history. Were they not born from resilience? From individuals who, despite the odds, persevered because they believed in the worthiness of their pursuit. Building this mental resilience begins with a simple yet profound decision to maintain a positive outlook regardless of circumstances. This doesn't mean ignoring reality or pretending challenges don't exist. It means choosing to focus on solutions rather than problems, on progress rather than setbacks. It's about reminding ourselves that every challenge is an opportunity for growth, a stepping stone on the path to our goals. But mental resilience alone is not enough. It must be coupled with physical resilience, the vessel that carries our ambitions. Physical strength and well-being are the foundation upon which our mental and emotional resilience rests. Just as a house cannot stand without a solid foundation our mental and emotional strength is compromised without physical health. Investing in our physical well-being means adopting habits and routines that nourish and strengthen our bodies. It's about regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and adequate rest, treating our body with the respect and care it deserves. When we are physically strong, we have the energy and vitality to tackle challenges, to pursue our goals with vigor, and to enjoy the journey along the way. But resilience, both mental and physical, is not a static trait. It's a muscle that must be continuously exercised and challenged. It grows through exposure to adversity, through the willingness to step outside our comfort zones, and through the discipline of pushing ourselves even when we feel like giving up. It's in the moments of struggle that resilience is forged, and it's from these struggles that we emerge stronger and more capable than before. Let's also not forget the power of community in building resilience. Surrounding ourselves with supportive, like-minded individuals can be a tremendous source of strength. These are the people who lift us when we fall, who cheer us on when the finish line seems out of reach, and who celebrate with us when we triumph. They remind us that we are not alone in our journey that our struggles and our successes are shared. In building resilience, it's also crucial to practice self-compassion. We must be patient with ourselves, recognizing that growth takes time and that setbacks are part of the process. Self-compassion means treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer a friend. It's about acknowledging our efforts forgiving our mistakes and celebrating our progress no matter how small. As we stand at this juncture, poised to build our resilience, let us take a moment to reflect on the journey ahead. It will be demanding, no doubt, filled with challenges that test our strength and resolve. But it will also be a journey of incredible growth, of discoveries about our capabilities and of transformation into the strongest version of ourselves. In closing, remember that resilience is the key that unlocks the door to our goals. It's the force that propels us forward, the shield that guards us against despair, and the light that guides us through the darkest of times. So let us commit to building our resilience, to nurturing our strength, and to embarking on this journey with courage and determination. For in resilience, we find not only the power to achieve our goals, 
but also the wisdom to appreciate the journey itself. As we move forward, let this commitment to resilience light our path, guiding us through the trials and triumphs that lie ahead. Let it be the strength that binds us to our goals, the force that propels us toward greatness, and the essence that transforms challenges into opportunities for growth. As we embark on this journey of resilience, having fortified our commitment and honed our strength, we encounter a beacon of light on the horizon. This light, ever so radiant, guides us towards a principle that is fundamental yet profound. The principle of continuous improvement and lifelong learning. Have you ever considered the true essence of improvement? Have you ever pondered why some individuals, despite the passage of years, seem to grow more vibrant, more skilled, and more attuned to the essence of life's ever-changing symphony? Improvement is not merely a destination or a finality. It is an ongoing journey, a relentless pursuit that challenges us to push beyond the boundaries of yesterday's achievements and to redefine the limits of tomorrow's aspirations. It whispers to us that who we are today need not define who we will be tomorrow. But the question stands, how does one embark upon this path of perpetual growth? The answer lies within a simple yet transformative concept, lifelong learning. To learn is to live, and to live is to learn. This cycle of learning and living intertwines forming the very fabric of a life enriched with wisdom, experience, and a deep understanding of the world around us. It's about embracing the curiosity of a child, where every moment presents an opportunity to learn something new, to see the world through a lens of wonder and infinite possibility. Lifelong learning is not confined to the walls of a classroom, nor is it tethered to the pages of a textbook. It is an expansive, boundless journey that spans the breadth of our existence. It encompasses the lessons gleaned from the books we read, the people we meet, the places we visit, and the experiences we endure. It is in the quiet reflection of our successes and failures, in the courage to ask questions, and in the humility to listen intently to the answers the universe provides. Yet embracing this journey, of continuous improvement and lifelong learning requires more than mere acknowledgement. It demands action. It calls for setting aside the notion that we have arrived or that there is an end point to our growth. Instead, it challenges us to set sail on a vast ocean of knowledge, armed with the resilience to navigate through storms of doubt and the determination to explore uncharted waters. Consider for a moment the impact of adopting a mindset geared towards continuous improvement. It's a mindset that propels you to seek out new skills, to refine your talents, and to elevate your understanding of the complex tapestry of life. This mindset does not view obstacles as insurmountable barriers, but as stepping stones, opportunities to rise above and to emerge stronger, wiser, and more adept. But how does one cultivate such a mindset? It begins with a commitment to self-exploration, to peering inward and discovering the areas in which we yearn for growth. It involves setting goals, not just for the sake of achievement, but for the sake of the person we will become in the process of reaching those goals. It's about celebrating progress, no matter how small, and understanding that every step forward is a victory in its own right. Furthermore, lifelong learning and continuous improvement are nurtured through the relationships we forge and the communities we build. Surrounding ourselves with individuals who share our passion for growth, who challenge us to think differently, and who inspire us through their own journey of improvement amplifies our own efforts. It creates a symphony of shared learning where each note contributes to a greater harmony. As we stand at this juncture, reflecting on the path of continuous improvement and lifelong learning, let us make a pledge. A pledge to remain students of life, to approach each day with a thirst for knowledge, and to embrace the beauty of becoming a little better with each passing moment. Let this be our guiding star, illuminating the path towards not just 
achieving our goals, but transcending them. In closing, remember that the journey of continuous improvement and lifelong learning is one of the most profound gifts we can offer ourselves. It is the gift of transformation, of evolving into versions of ourselves that we can look upon with pride. So let us step forward with courage and curiosity, for in the pursuit of improvement, we discover not just the world around us, but the infinite potential that lies within. In the grand tapestry of personal growth and achievement, where the threads of continuous improvement and lifelong learning are intricately woven, there lies another fundamental strand, equally vibrant and crucial, the power of habits and discipline. This is the cornerstone upon which the edifice of personal success is built brick by brick, day by day. But what makes habits and discipline so pivotal in our quest for betterment? Reflect for a moment on the daily rituals that shape our lives. From the first light of dawn, when the world is still a murmur and our dreams are just fading from view, to the quiet of the evening, when the day's hustle settles into the silence of night, every moment is a choice. What we repeatedly do what we persistently embody becomes not just part of our routine, but the very fabric of who we are. Excellence then is not a single act, but a habit. Imagine the power of transforming your life, one habit at a time. It's like planting a garden in which each habit is a seed, each discipline a drop of water nurturing those seeds to grow. Some will sprout quickly, others may take time, but each requires care attention, and above all, the discipline to tend to them daily. The garden does not bloom overnight, but with each day's disciplined effort, it transforms into a spectacle of beauty and abundance. But how do we cultivate these habits of excellence? How do we instill the discipline needed to foster them? It begins with the smallest of steps, a tiny, seemingly inconsequential action repeated day after day whether it's rising with the dawn to greet the day with gratitude, dedicating a quiet hour to reflection and learning, or committing to the rigor of a physical exercise. Each act, each habit formed is a stone laid on the path to greatness. Discipline, often perceived as a word laden with rigidity and constraint, is in truth the gateway to freedom. It is the discipline to choose the hard, right over the easy wrong, the discipline to push forward when every fiber of your being yearns to rest, the discipline to say oh to the immediate pleasures that distract from long-term goals. This discipline is not something imposed from without but kindled from within, a flame that guides us through the darkness of complacency and into the light of achievement. Yet the journey of building habits and discipline is not one we walk alone. Surrounding ourselves with a community that uplifts, supports, and challenges us can magnify our efforts and illuminate our path. It is in the shared struggles and triumphs that we find strength, in the collective wisdom that we find guidance. Let this community be your anchor, a reminder that the journey is as much about those who walk beside us as it is about the destination. As we forge ahead, let us embrace the power of habits and discipline, not as burdens to bear, but as instruments of empowerment. Let these tools sculpt us into the architects of our destiny, capable of building a life of purpose, passion, and profound achievement. Let us remember that every day is an opportunity to practice, to improve, to get better. And in this daily practice, let us find the joy the fulfillment, and the unparalleled satisfaction of seeing who we become in the process. So I ask you, what habits will you cultivate? What disciplines will you embrace? The answers to these questions are the keys to unlocking your potential, to transcending the ordinary, and to etching your mark on the fabric of the universe. The time is now, the power is yours. Let us step forward resolve with courage and with an unwavering commitment to the discipline of becoming our best selves. Imagine for a moment 
Standing at the edge of a lush, vibrant forest, the air is fresh, filled with the scent of pine and earth. And as far as the eye can see, there's an expanse of green. Now think of yourself, not just standing at the edge, but walking into this forest, letting the environment envelop you completely. How does it make you feel? Energized, at peace, perhaps even inspired. This isn't just a casual stroll through nature. I'm inviting you to envision. It's a powerful metaphor for the profound impact our surroundings have on our lives, our growth, and our journey towards success. Consider this. The environment we immerse ourselves in molds us, subtly, yet significantly, just as the soil and climate dictate the towering height and robustness of the trees in a forest. The question that arises, are we consciously cultivating the environment that nurtures our deepest aspirations and fosters our growth? Or have we left it to chance, like a seed scattered by the wind, landing in barren soil? The truth is, the ambience around us, the people we interact with, the places we frequent, the ideas we are exposed to, acts much like the gardener to the soil. It can enrich our foundation with nutrients of inspiration, motivation, and wisdom, or it can deplete our reserves, leaving us stunted in a wasteland of negativity and doubt. The power of this influence cannot be overstated. Just as a plant struggles to reach the light under the canopy of thicker foliage, so too can our ambitions be overshadowed by an unsupportive or toxic environment. Let's dive deeper into the essence of this influence. Picture the individuals you spend most of your time with. Are they like the sturdy oaks and resilient pines, standing tall with the courage of their convictions, offering shelter and strength? Or do they resemble the invasive species, overshadowing smaller plants, sapping the ground of its richness, and hindering growth? The company we keep, the proverbial soil our roots dig into, determines the nutrients we absorb. But it's not just about the people. It's also about the thoughts we nurture within this environment. Our mindset cultivated by our surroundings can be our greatest ally or our most formidable foe. Like the sun's rays that coax the bud to bloom, a positive, growth-oriented mindset propels us towards our potential. Conversely, a negative outlook can shroud our aspirations in shadow, inhibiting our bloom. The beauty of this realization lies in its empowerment. Just as a gardener tills the soil, removes the weeds, and plants seeds with intention, so too can we cultivate our environment. We have the agency to choose our influences to seek out those individuals who inspire us, who challenge us to climb higher, and who celebrate our victories as their own. We have the power to immerse ourselves in places and activities that invigorate our spirits and align with our deepest values. Moreover, this deliberate cultivation of our surroundings extends beyond the physical. It encompasses the books we read, the media we consume, the conversations we engage in. Each element, like the nutrients in the soil, feeds our growth in subtle yet profound ways. By consciously choosing what we absorb, we shape our thoughts, our beliefs, and ultimately, our actions. We become architects of our destiny, sculpting our path with the tools of our environment. Yet the task does not end with cultivation alone. Like the forest that continually evolves, shedding the old to make way for the new, our environment too demands our vigilance and our willingness to adapt. Change, after all, is the only constant. The environment that once served our growth may, over time, become too small a pot for the expanding roots of our ambitions. Recognizing when it's time to transplant ourselves into new soil, to seek out fresh challenges and opportunities, is as crucial as the initial cultivation. In closing, remember that the influence of our environment shapes not just who we are today, but who we aspire to become tomorrow. It is the bedrock upon which we build our dreams, the canvas upon which we paint our futures. So, 
I urge you, take a moment to reflect on the landscape of your life. Is it one that nurtures your growth, that challenges you to reach for the sunlight, that enriches you with its diversity and vitality? If not, then perhaps it's time to cultivate a new environment, one that resonates with the essence of your aspirations and plants the seeds for a future of boundless growth and infinite possibilities. In the grand tapestry of existence, where does the power of transformation lie? It rests not in the idle dreams that float in the ether of our minds, nor does it slumber in the halls of wishful thinking. No, the true force of change, the very essence of growth and achievement, pulses through the veins of action. Imagine, if you will, a single step taken forward. It may seem small, a mere shift in the grand scheme of things, but oh, how profound its impact can be. For it is this step, followed by another, and then another, that carves out the path of our destiny. But why is it that so many find themselves shackled by hesitation, trapped in the chasm between intention and execution? It is because the journey of a thousand miles, daunting as it may appear, begins with a single step Yet taking that step requires more than just desire. It demands courage. Courage to break free from the chains of procrastination. Courage to face the unknown. And courage to commit to the journey ahead. Let's delve deeper into this wellspring of action, understanding that it is not merely about movement, but about purposeful progress. To take action is to plant the seeds of your future with the hands of your present. It's to understand that every moment offers a choice to step forward into growth or to step back into safety. But here's a truth. As clear as the daylight that graces our skies, those who achieve, those who conquer mountains and forge their names in the halls of greatness are the ones who choose growth time and again. Consider the mightiest of oaks, how it at once stood as nothing more than a humble acorn. Did it not take action, breaking through the confines of its shell, to reach towards the sun? So too must we break through our barriers, our fears, and our doubts to reach towards the heights of our potential. Action, then, is not just a step, but a leap. A leap of faith in ourselves and our capabilities. But how does one ignite this spark of action? It begins with setting a vision a lighthouse to guide your journey across the tumultuous seas of life. This vision, vivid and compelling, serves as a constant reminder of the shores we strive to reach. It is the fuel that powers our engines of ambition, driving us forward when the winds of doubt and the storms of fear assail us. Yet, a vision without a plan, but a dream and a plan without action is an illusion. Thus, we must be architects of our destiny, drawing not just the blueprints of our dreams, but also laying down the bricks of effort, day by day, brick by brick. Each action, no matter how small, is a piece of the puzzle, a stroke of the brush on the canvas of our lives. And in this journey of action, let us not be deterred by the specter of failure, for failure is not the antithesis of success. It is its companion. Each misstep, each fall, teaches us lessons that success could never whisper in our ears. It is through the crucible of failure that the steel of our resolve is forged, making us stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Moreover, action breeds momentum. Like a boulder rolling down a hill, each action propels us forward faster and with greater purpose. The hardest part is often just beginning, pushing the boulder off its resting place. But once we do, once we take that initial step, the path forward becomes clearer, the journey less daunting. Let us also remember, in our quest for progress, the power of consistency. Action, to be effective, must not be a sporadic burst of energy, but a steady, relentless force. It is the daily discipline the commitment to take even the smallest step forward each day that carves the deepest canyons and builds the mightiest edifices of achievement. But what are those moments when the path seems too steep, 
the obstacles too great. It is here that the strength of our environment, the support of those who walk beside us, becomes our greatest ally. Surround yourself with those who fan the flames of your ambition, who lend you strength when yours falters, and who remind you of the vision that set you on your path. In closing, let us embrace the ethos of action, understanding that it is the golden key that unlocks the doors of possibility. It is the dawn that dispels the night of inaction, the spark that ignites the flame of change. So, as we stand at the crossroads of decision, let us choose the path of action, the path that leads to growth, to achievement, and to the realization of our fullest potential. As we journey forth, let our steps be guided by purpose, our actions by courage, and our hearts by the unwavering belief in our capacity to overcome, to succeed, and to thrive. Let us not just dream of a better tomorrow, but take the actions today that will make that dream a reality. For in the end, it is not the dreams we chase, but the actions we take that define our legacy.